Welcome to the platform of the prayer warriors. This is the land of prayer, where we do prayers that break the kingdom of Satan, break the kingdom of Satan, shatter it to its ground. So we welcome you. Now, I would like us, uh, before we get to the prayer, the opening prayer, the book of, may the Lord bless us as we are going to his word, Jeremiah 51. This is just the word that came to my spirit. This is what the Lord says here. He says that thou art my battlefield, my battle axe, and the weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations. With thee I will break in pieces the nations. I want to repeat that. And with thee I will, will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and the rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. With thee will I break in pieces old and young. With thee will I break in pieces young men and made this is what the lord says what it means is this that god he is god who is found in the battlefield he is god who is the judge he is god almighty but he says that with you with you with you what is it that i will do with you he says that you are my battle ex with you and you are the weapons of war he says that thou art my battle axe and weapons of war all right we are the weapons of war of god almighty father we give you all the glory lord we are thanking you lord god for having so much trust in us it is because you are God who created us. You know us better than we know ourselves because you are God, all present, God, all knowing, God, all powerful. We bow before your throne right now and in thanking you for blessing us with this time so that we can all meet in your name and bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for calling us your battle access. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us and making us the weapons of war. Thank you, Lord, that you are saying that you, 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 we are, you have created us and given us dominion over the earth. So we just want to thank you in Jesus' name. Now we pray, Spirit of the living God, that you be with us in this, in this prayer session. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we are all gathering as the prayer warriors, coming to you, Spirit of the living God, and asking you to teach us how to make prayers, prayers that will destroy the kingdom of Satan, prayers that will make us um, to step into our positions as the weapons of war, as the battle axes that God has called us to be in Jesus' name. This cannot be done without you, Spirit of the living God. So we need your leadership. We need your guidance. We need your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. Now we pray that, Lord, 
Every sin that we have done, Lord God, we present it before you, Ma. We ask that we be forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus, that every blemish that Satan put on us to disqualify us from receiving from you today, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that we be forgiven in Jesus' name. Now we remove every evil garment of pride. We remove every evil garment of 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 any evil garment of sin that Satan has put on us in the mighty name of Jesus, the garments of sexual immorality, the garments of anger, the garments, Lord God, of resentment in the mighty name of Jesus, we are removing them in Jesus' name, breaking the covenant with these spirits in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you, Ma. We ask that, Lord God, any iniquity that is found in us, we subject it to the power of the blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we bless you, vow. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Now we cover ourselves with the powerful blood of the Lamb. We loose the blood of Jesus Christ with the keys of the kingdom of heaven that we have given us, that whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Right now, we loose the powerful blood of the Lamb. Let the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ, let it take the four corners. We plead the blood in the four corners of where we are watching in Jesus' name. The four corners of this place in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover the walls with the powerful blood of the Lamb. I loose the blood in, inside the walls in Jesus' name. The powerful blood of the Lamb in the foundation. The powerful blood of Jesus Christ on the rooftop. The the powerful blood of Jesus Christ on the earth. Let it cleanse the soil of this land in Jesus' name. I loose the blood in Jesus' name. I sanctify the air with the powerful blood of the Lamb. I loose the blood, the blood of cleansing, the blood of purification in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we sanctify the gates and we lock them with the blood. We lock out everything every wicked spirit in Jesus' name. We lock them out in Jesus' name. Father God Almighty, we bless you, Mom. Let the blood, let the blood go straight to the foundations, the foundations of every habitation of a wicked spirit in Jesus' name. We are charging against you with the blood of Jesus Christ, charging against you with the blood of the Lamb. Any spirit that is standing against this prayer, any spirit that is standing against this prayer, we loose the blood of Jesus Christ. We splash you with the blood of the Lamb. We destroy you with the powerful blood of the Lamb. We loose the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. We silence your powers with the blood. We erase your, 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 your spiritual assignment with the powerful blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we bless you, Lord God, and we thank you, Mom. In the mighty name of Jesus, any coven that is rising against this prayer, any coven that is rising against this prayer. We are loosing the blood, the blood, the powerful blood of the Lamb. We erase your incantations with the blood. We erase your incantations with the blood. We erase your enchantment with the powerful blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, we put off your candles with the wind of God in Jesus' name. We blow them off in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you, Ma. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. We cut in the name of Jesus your powers from the elements. We cut the, your powers from the elements in Jesus' name. Any coven that is rising against this prayer, we say in the name of Jesus, we cut your powers from the elements in Jesus' name. And we pray, Father Lord God, that you, that you cut their powers powers from the constellations in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Father God Almighty, we bless you and we thank you, Lord God. Assign the angels 
that we need for this prayer. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Spirit of the living God, that you anoint us for this prayer, that you anoint the tongue of your servant in Jesus' name, that it be your voice that is heard here in Jesus' name. Let the angels, the angels concerning this session, we pray to the Lord of hosts that you assign them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you and we thank you in in Jesus name and those who believe say amen and amen oh we bless the Lord we bless the Lord we bless the Lord and um, prayer warriors um, the Lord has brought us at this time because this is not the time for us to to play games with, with Jesus. Because this is an hour where the enemy has intensified his, his strength and his powers against the prayer warriors, against the children of God, against his servants. So it is the hour that we roll up our sleeves and begin to believe what is in the word. And not only believe, but also exercise our faith and pray what is in the word so that this word, we live it. This word, we obey it. This word, we become the word. Amen. So we, we, we are in a season where we need to, to be obedient. Obedient. Because it is obedience that builds the, the fear of the Lord in us. And it is the fear of the Lord that releases and makes us to qualify to more and more anointing. We grow through obedience to the word. We grow through the fear of the Lord. Amen. So the Holy Spirit does not, um, does not, does not reveal himself the way that he should when we are in disobedience. So this is just something that the Lord just dropped me, dropped in my spirit. And as we started with this word that is in the book of Jeremiah, book of Jeremiah, um, starting from verse 20. Let me read it from this version. And uh, it's a scripture that is in my spirit. Um, but um, just as it, for for us as we are starting, but that's not where I'm going to for today. And this is, I like it, um, but I like it better here. But let me read it even here. In verse 20, where the Lord says that, thou art my battle axe. What he says is that you are my battle axe. You are my battle axe. Just think of a battle. Of, of, of an ex that you might have at your house. And now it's not the ex that you use, you know, um, for the household um, um, uh, assignments or tasks that you have at your house, but now it's the battle ex. It's the battle ex. So it's the ex that is used in the battlefield. All right. So he says that you are my battle axe and the weapons of war. Have you ever thought of God saying that to you? That you are the weapon of war. Weapon of war. And in many instances, and, and this is what we were taught um, by the pastors um, when we got born again ages ago, they were, they were teaching us that when we pray, we must ask God to do things for us. And we grew up with that. So whenever we pray, we say, God, when are you going to do this for me? When is this going to happen? We are shifting the ball in his court. But right now, he appears here and he says that, you are the, my weapons of war. 
Meaning what? There are wars that we are in and we are experiencing that will not end until we take our position as the battle axes. That these wars are, are there but will not end until I begin to realize that I have a role to play to stop this war, to end this war, to win this war. I have an assignment. And here, the Lord here also says here, he says that for with thee, with thee, will I break in pieces the nations. So what it means is that he says that I, I'm not going to break the nations without you. It is with you that I will break the nations. It is with you that I will stop the witchcraft that is against you. It is with you that I will stop the warring, the warring waves that are against you. It is with you that I will stop the storm that is that that is that 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 is shattering your life. It is with you that I will stop that storm. It is with you that I will stop the lies that are spread by the enemy against you. It is with you that I will stop. I will stop what they are doing against you. It doesn't matter what, because we are all gathered here because there are situations that we are experiencing in our lives. If we had no situation, we would be asleep or probably elsewhere. But it is the platform of people who are saying that, God, I'm taking the assignment. I'm taking the role. I'm taking uh, the position that you are giving me because you are saying that I am your weapon of war. I am your battle axe. Amen. So meaning what? There is so much strength that God sees in us. There is so much ability that God sees in us. The potential that he sees in us. Because he created us in his image. And the image of God is the image of power. The image of God is the image of victory. The image of God is the image of, of, of a warrior. Amen. Because he's God Almighty. If he was, he was, if there was, there was no warring, warring character of God. He was not going to be called God Almighty. He's God Almighty because he's God who's found in the battlefield. Amen. He's found in the battlefield. Listen to what, um, if we go just very quickly to, uh, to, Psalm, to Psalm 29. You know, these are the things that we were taught that, Ask God, would you please, God, God, you can see what is happening in my life. I'm not saying that there are no, no such moments that you will experience, all right, when you need guidance from him. But, but, but he is God who is expecting us to war. Not to take defeat, but to rise up and war. And he would not have given us, first he would not have made us um, in his image and after his likeness if he did not want us to take his character as the God who was. And secondly, he would not have given us dominion because he gave us dominion over the fowl, over the fish of the sea. So when he gave us dominion over the fish of the sea, what he was saying to us is that, any spirit that dwells in waters, I have given power, you power over it. I have given you dominion over it. All right? So he gave us dominion over the fowl of the air. So the spirits of the air, all right? 
we have dominion over them and the spirits let me start let me let me because i can i, I I'm, I'm just i'm getting, i'm hearing something the holy spirit that i should not rush this through all right when when god says that he gave us dominion over the waters the spirit of the waters are the spirit that steal from us are the spirit that that uh, bring us sexual immorality all right are the spirits that bring us witchcraft? Are the spirits that bring us a false, false teaching and and false, um, a false um, a, a, a prophecies? All right. Are the spirits that that bring us a spirit spouses? All right. And the reason for the spirit spouse is also to to take away from you your inheritance from you because when the spirit marries you what it means is now is a marriage in community of property so that spirit will have authority over your inheritance all right so now so it's all these things that you will be experiencing, all right? And when you say that, oh, there's, I'm experiencing witchcraft, I'm experiencing, and all that way, the enemy would even lead you to false, te to false teachers and to false prophets, all right? It is because of the spirits of the waters, all right? So these are the marine the spirits of the marine, the spirits of the river, the spirits of the dam, the spirits of the fountain, all right? The spirits of humidity, all right? Because there are spirits that dwell in humidity, all right? So all of those are the spirits that steal from us. They do the assignment of their father, all right? We is Satan, which is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But when you don't see your finances, first thing that you should be dealing with the spirit of the waters, all right? Deal with the spirits of the waters. And also, spirit of the air. The spirit of the air, its assignment is to pull you down and say that you are not going to fly high, all right? No, 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 no. It's a spirit that that brings you down, is a spirit that breaks your wings to fly, all right? Is a spirit that defiles your name, is a spirit that, that takes away progress in your life, all right? And, and, and these are um, also the, the monitoring spirits, all right? So they monitor you, they, 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 they spread, wickedness about you all right so these are the spirits of the air and god says that i gave you dominion over these spirits all right and and he gave us also dominion over the over the cattle those are those are the spirits of the of the of the forest all right and we know that the spirits of the forest they come with strength they are there to 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 protect their kingdom. And these are the spirit that block the glory of the Lord from us. They steal the glory of the Lord because these are the spirit that want to be glorified, all right? So they steal the glory of the Lord from us. They bring us confusion in the spirits of the forest, all right? And they work very closely with the spirits of the waters. And that you get it from the book of Revelation, chapter 17, all right, where you will see them that the mother of harlots is found in the forest and is also is found on waters. It is also found in the forest. And you will see there that uh, it's got jewelry, this and that. So the spirit of the spirit of the forest are also the spirits that are for money. They are for money. And they are also for these are the spirits that will make you to make with decisions that will drain out your finances. It's the spirit of the forest because they bring you confusion. The spirits of the forest are also these spirits that will cause people to have depression, anxiety. 
They cause people to have anxiety, the fear and anxiety. All right. So it's the spirit of the forest where you are black. You, you are forever having this fear that you don't know where it comes from. You are unable to take, to make decisions. All right. Because of fear and the decisions that you make are the decisions that take you down the drain. And it is because of the spirits of the forest. Why? They want your finances. Their assignment is to get your finances. So also, now, when you get then to the spirits of, then he says that the Lord said that I gave you dominion over the cattle. So what it meant is that he gave us dominion over every spirit that reigns in forest. And the Lord also gave us dominion. He gave us dominion over over the over the over the over he gave us dominion over the over the over the cattle and he gave us dominion over all the earth the song the spirits of the earth if we talk about the spirit of the earth the spirit of the earth are also the spirits that steal from us they steal from us so when your pockets are empty, there might be something that has been done, you know, using the spirits of the earth, all right? The spirits of the earth is about the soil, all right? Why? Right. If you go to the book of Genesis, let's go to the book of Genesis so that we can trace this thing from the book of Genesis, all right? This is what the Lord said to them in the book of Genesis um, at the time of creation. All right. Then uh, the Bible says that um, I want to go straight to. All right. In verse, um, in verse, uh, in verse eleven. Let's start from verse eleven. And, and God said, let there be earth, let earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. So earth was created to feed men. Earth was created to be a resource for us. And God gave us dominion over that earth. All right. So, so sometimes when you see things collapsing in your life, they might have done something using the spirit of the earth. All right. They might have, they might have um, a release taken the soil of your land, all right, came and took the soil of your land and mixed it with other stuff that I don't know. But all it is about to create that, 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 that the, the losses, the damages, the, the dryness and all that, all right, or use also the spirit go to the go to the graveyard and take that the the soil of a grave all right and use it all right against you so that whatever you touch dies using the spirit of the earth why it is because god gave us created earth to feed us so satan does the opposite of what God has intended for us, all right, and uses it for his own purpose, all right. And 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 also Satan knows that he, you can curse earth, all right. So a person can come, a witch can come and curse the earth of the soil of your land, all right. And 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 why are they doing that? It's because Satan does nothing that is outside the way. Does nothing that is outside the way. If you go to the book of, of Genesis chapter 4, this is what God said. Because God, God cursed, 
when God was cursing, um, uh, when God cursed Cain, uh, in verse in verse in verse eleven, this is what God said. He said that, and now, all right. Let me start from eleven, from ten. He said that, and the Lord said, "What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground." All right. And now you are cursed by reason of the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's shed blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth in perpetual exile a degraded outcast, all right? So the, the devil worshippers will use this curse, use this curse on the soil of your land, all right? And, and because when it is here in the word, so meaning what? The soil can be cursed, that it should not produce anything for you, should not produce anything. And you are wondering why things, instead of coming, are going, all right, are disappearing. The problem is, is in the soil of your land, it's in the soil of your land. So, so. It is, it is the devil worshippers having cursed the soil of your man. So it's very important that whenever you pray, you release the blood of sanctification in, in the soil of your land and, and purify it. And you will be making prayers and prayers and prayers. God, help me with this and, 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 and. But the, the, the problem is, in the soil, it's in the soil. Why? It is because this was the earth that was created, the ground that was created to feed you. It was created to feed you. So it is an assignment of feeding you. It is a command that it received from God that it must feed you. All right. So now they come and release the word. Remember that earth has got ears. The reason that we have dominion over it is because it's got ears so we can speak to it. God spoke to, to the earth in the beginning of time and it obeyed the command of God. So now we as people of God, we don't speak to the earth. We don't command the earth, all right? And you do as God has done. And look at what is happening. The kingdom of darkness is speak wickedness to the earth. Speak wickedness to the soil, soil of, of our lands, all right? So, and, 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 and because it's got ears, it will hear and listen. If, 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 Earth did not have ears, all right? We will not have, God will not have given us dominion over it because anything that is that you have dominion over it, you speak to it, you release commands and it obeys, all right? Because you've got dominion over it. So these are just a few things that we need as people of God. And also he said that, I give you dominion over every creeping thing that creepeth on earth. So all these serpents and even Satan himself is a serpent because the Bible says that he's a serpent. So we have dominion over him. All right. So now I went to, to Psalm 29. All of these, um, where am I going to? Is to show you as to why God is calling us the battle access. Why God is saying to us, you are the weapons of war. My weapons of war. Why? Why is he saying that? 
Now, and, and, and when we are attacked financially, there are things that God is expecting us to do in order to correct our financial situations. Because Satan will hit you on the finances so as to divert your focus from what God has called you for. All right? Now, in every prayer that you are making, it's about finances. When you wake up at 3 a.m., Holy Spirit is waking you up at 3 a.m. It's about finances. It's not about your calling. Remember that it is your calling, all right? Obedience to your calling, obedience to the word of God and to whatever that God says, that to any command that opens doors for us, all right? So it is not our needs that open doors for us. So when you are saying that, yo, I prayed, yo, I prayed, yo, I pray, I pray, yo, I pray at 12 noon, I pray at what, but what are you praying about? What are you praying about? Is it about your things or it is about the kingdom of God? It's the kingdom of God that opens doors for us. Because the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what? The finances that you are crying for will be added unto you. So Satan will, 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 will just um, confuse our priorities so that we fall into disobedience. Because when I am seeking finances first, I'm in disobedience. So when I am in disobedience, then I'm delaying the opportunities, all right, for me to receive from the Lord. Even when I qualify, I qualify, but... But 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 I have I have I have a repositioned myself, all right, and change the 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 the, the change the priorities, all right. So now this is what is so important that we need to know. These these are the things that make us to be ineffective in our prayers. All right, is when our priorities are reversed, all right, and are confused. And it is because of that. So now this is what the Lord, as I said from the time, the first time that we met, that the Lord whispered this to me and said that I need you to have these prayers first, all right? It's not to say that this is not going to be the only thing that we're going to be praying about. But to make my children to step out of debt, to make prayers that will take them out of this mire, all right, so that they come back to their positions. Go back to your position. And for me to get back to my position is by me knowing what will take me out of my position. So what would, what would take me out of this situation, brother? So what is it that will take me out of the situation is by knowing how to pray prayers. So that will move the heart of God. And the prayers that will move the heart of God are the prayers that are for his kingdom. That that exalt him, all right, as God the provider. So now, now I was saying that this this um, I, I I took you to Psalm twenty nine, all right, so that you can see the power of God that is against all of what He, he has given us. He says here that. The, in verse 29 says that in verse 3 says that the voice of the Lord is over the waters, all right? So, 
everything that is stealing from you, the voice of the Lord is over it. Is over the is over the waters. All right. So the voice of the Lord it says that, and, and the glory and the God of glory thunders. That the Lord thunders over the mighty waters. Thunders over the mighty waters. So meaning that he's the only solution that we have. Solution that we have. So it cannot happen without his power. Cannot happen without his power. And when you talk about the voice, the voice is the word, all right? Is the word. So now he said the voice of the breaks the cedars, all right? Where do you get the cedars? You find them in the forest. All right, so he talks about the water first to the Lord and say that my voice, it thunders, it thunders over the mighty waters. Anything that thunders over something is in control of it, is above it. So he says that my voice, and what is the voice of the Lord? Is his word. He says that it thunders over the mighty waters. And the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the, the cedars. The cedars are the strongest trees that one can find that built the first temple of the Lord. So she, the voice of the Lord can actually break the strength the, the strongest, the strongest spirit that dwells in the forest can break it. Meaning that the word of God can break the strongest that reigns in the forest. All right? So that forest that is causing confusion, that brings you depression, that, that makes you to make decisions that are outside the will of God. All right? So, and also says that the voice of the Lord is strikes with flashes of lightning. It strikes with flashes of lightning. I like that, all right? It strikes, the voice of the Lord it strikes with flashes of lightning, all right? So what is it? What is the assignment of lightning? Lightning divides. All right, so the voice of the Lord also divides. The voice of the Lord it shakes the desert, all right? So when you talk about the desert, the desert is what the enemy creates for us. So, but the voice of the Lord overcomes the desert. The voice of the Lord overcomes the poverty. The voice of the Lord overcomes the dryness overcomes it all right so it's all of these things you know that i just wanted uh, for us uh, to deal with like uh, today without wasting time i would like us uh, because i i i received um a number of a uh, you know a uh, you know a uh, people uh, uh, reports that are coming from people to say that with the prayer that we did last week, it actually shook certain things in their lives. All right. Shook certain, certain things in their lives. And uh, that was a prayer for us to release our spirit from the cage and from the prison of Satan. All right. And uh, why? It is because it is, this is so paramount because how can you say that I want to learn how to pray, whereas your spirit is in prison? Because you pray with your spirit. You connect with God with your spirit. So the spirit is, is powerful. All right, that's what we need. So that's what we need to connect with, 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 with the power of God, all right, and with the, with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's, it is through our spirit, our spirit man. So now people were saying that this happened, this happened, this happened. So now I want us now, because last time, yes, we did a prayer that was taking our spirit out of the cages, but one thing that we did not put more time on was to destroy the altar. 
the altar that is responsible for the caging. We did not put more time on it. All right. So I want us to do that uh, today. All right. And, and, and remember that when you have done prayer and it shook the kingdom of Satan, what it means is that you need to intensify. You need to, don't stop. You need to, to intensify. The Bible says that um, uh, we, 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 need, we must resist him and he shall flee. All right. So for you to know that the prayer was effective is by seeing the response. All right. So now those responses that people received, all right, through dreams and all that, it shows that indeed the, your spirit was caged somewhere. All right. Now, one is going to ask, if you were not here last week, how do I know that my spirit is caged? Your spirit is caged when you have a dream where you find yourself lost and you don't know where the direction or where you are. It means that your spirit is caged. When you find yourself, you are in a place where that is so unfamiliar and you don't know what it is, where, where you are and uh, whose house is it, all right? And you don't see the, the exit door. Or, and, and, and that one of looking for the exit door and you can't find it, it means that your spirit is caged. Your spirit is caged. All right, where your spirit is imprisoned, where you um, where you find somebody is is taking you to a certain house that you don't know. I will even make an example of a somebody who says to you that okay, this is your house, and tells you that this is your house. When a person in a dream that you don't know is telling you that this is your house. What that person is telling you is that your spirit is going to live there. All right. Because we are spirit beings at first having a body. I mean, uh, having a soul and living in the body. So that person is telling you that as of now, your spirit is going to live here. All right. Or where you get an invitation from somebody and you are entering into this place that you don't know. And mind you, and, and this is a place that is so unfamiliar and you're like, but so-and-so, I am not supposed to be in the company of so-and-so. So that it means that there's a, there's a plan. There's a plan to catch your spirit. They're taking you there. So it's all of these things when your spirit is taken. So when you get those dreams, it's some of them that I'm mentioning, but that are indicative, indicative of what I'm saying, all right, that your spirit might be imprisoned. Or you see yourself, you are in a cell, prison cell. Or you see yourself, you are wearing the, 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 the clothes of the prisoners, all right? All right. Or you see yourself, you are chained, okay? And, um, and it means that your spirit is caged when you see yourself in that situation. It might be, all right? When you see yourself that you... You are chained um, and, and it might mean setting other things, but also one, it, it may also mean that your spirit is also caged. I mean, it is caged when you find yourself that um, you are chained, all right? So, but it's all of those things. Now, I will not get to other things today. We are going to go straight to how to destroy that altar, remember that it doesn't stop the situation that you are experiencing spiritual until you destroy the altar. Doesn't stop. For as long as there is the living altar, that situation will continue. They will go back and do it again because the altar is still there. All right. So for you to get your ultimate victory is by destroying the altar that actually released whatever that you are experiencing. So now I want us to go straight to 
to demolishing the altar, all right? But I would like us to, um, when we are destroying these altars, all right, um, to also think of the ancient altars, all right? The ancient altars, those altars that were created before we were born, and and have them also consider them as well. All right, those altars that were there before we were born, because those are also the altars that make situations very complicated for us because we are looking at what we can see, but those are the altars that are still there. And and they were they really certain curses against us. And 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 so that is why when when God was talking to, to Gideon, God appeared to Gideon and first it was the angel, but for him to appear, he said to him that demolish the altar of your father, the altar of Baal of your father. All right, so and and, and it was a, a Gideon was 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 not um, had not stepped into his kingdom purpose. And, and what was stopping him from stepping into his kingdom purpose, it was the altar, the altar of his father. And mind you, there's a great possibility that the father also inherited from his father and his father inherited from his father, all right? So the generational, generational altar that is in his bloodline. And now Gideon, who is you, who is me, is born again and wants to follow Jesus, but there are strings that are still holding him back or holding me back. It is because of these ancient altars. So the Lord said that destroy, destroy the altar of your father. Then we're going to talk. We will talk after. You have done that. And the Bible says that as soon as he has done that, he stepped into his kingdom purpose as the man of valor and was able to do the assignment that God set for him. All right. And, but now I want us not to use that scripture. All right. And uh, to use a different scripture, which I quoted last, last week. All right. And I want us to move with the scripture, which is in the book of um, of of First Kings. I just want to show you, all right, as to what you should do when you destroy an evil altar. The Bible here says in the book of First Kings, chapter eighteen, all right. Uh, it says here, um. Gideon, uh, sorry, this, this is a prophet Elijah. It was a contest, Mount Carmel. We all know about it, all right? Uh, 450 prophets of Baal, of Jezebel, and the 400 uh, um, prophets of Asherah, all right? And we talk about Jezebel. Who is Jezebel? Jezebel dwells under waters, all right? And who is Jezebel? Bible, very clear about who Jezebel is. If you go to the book of um, book of Revelation, chapter 2, all right, there it says that Jezebel, it says that Jezebel by her teachings, all right, it says that uh, verse 20, uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, I'm going to read it in this simple version. It says that, uh, nevertheless, I have, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess, all right? So Jezebel is about prophecies, false prophecies, all right? So, and, uh, so all these false prophets, you'll find that they go, they will say that, how were, how, how were you, how were you uh, initiated? They will tell you that I went to 
I went to uh, to the ocean, I went to the sea, and this entity came out being a woman and had sex with me. All right? That's Jezebel initiating her, her, pro her false prophets, all right? So that they can have these powers and, and, and all right? And tell you your 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 ID number and your house number and your address, your physical address, and all that rubbish. So now here, the the Bible says that first it says is a prophetess, all right? And by her teaching, she misleads my servants. So they are the false prophets, they are the false teachers, all right, to mislead the people of God, moving them from truth. Because now we are in the era to cling on truth, all right, because Satan is after this truth, removing us from this truth. Who is truth? Jesus is the truth, all right? So, then, um, and the other thing it says that misleads my servants into sexual immorality. So that is why the initiation is done through sex, all right? Because it's the spirit of sexual immorality. Remember that sex spirit of sexual immorality takes away finances, all right? So this is, and, and also, and the eating of food is sacrificed to, to idol. So Jezebel, is about evil feeding, is a is, is about false prophecies, false teaching, is about sexual immorality, all right? And uh, so all of these, all right, look at that and and and, and see what um uh, um um prophet Elijah was dealing with here was dealing with a combination of all of that, all right? And uh, destroying that altar, all right? It, which is, is an altar that was releasing all of these things that I'm talking about, all right? Now, you want, you want your finances to be set free, all right? So your finances, forget about doing this prayer if you are in fornication. Forget about doing this prayer if you are still in sexual immorality, you are watching pornography, pornographic material, you are what, what. You can destroy this altar to stop that first, all right? Because whilst you are entangled in sexual immorality, you have a seed of Jezebel that is in you. You have covenanted with Jezebel, so there is no way that you can fight what you are in agreement with. So now, here, what he said here, very quickly, he said, he, he, there's something that he said that is so profound. He said that, um, um, which is something that, um, this is what he said. He said that, um, that is verse 36. Verse, yeah, verse 36. This is prophet Elijah said, he said that, and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, all right, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, let it be known this day that Thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Let it be proven to all of them that you are God, that I am also your servant. All right. I love that. And and this then, and this is what then he, this is what he said. And the Bible here say that the Lord quickly responded because now it's, it's tapping upon the power of God. Remember that what he said, he said that you are my battle axe and you are my weapon of war. With you, I break, I break, I break, I break, I break the nations, all right? With you, I destroy altars with you. 
So the strategy of Elijah here, very, very, very profound. And, 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 and understanding the arithmetics of the, of the, of the spirit. And he says that you let it be proven is, is bringing, is bringing God in this situation and himself. <laughs> and what we do, Tina, we want God to be, God be there and do it and do it. But the prophet Elijah says that you are, let it be proven that you are God. And let it also be proven that I'm your servant. That this thing, we're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. We're going to demolish this altar of Jezebel who's stealing my money together. All right? So here, then he said, the Bible says that the Lord did not waste any time. Not waste any time. Why? It is because, because Prophet Elijah understands who he is in the spirit and who he is to God, all right? That I need you right now. I need your power so as to deal with this situation, all right? That's the attitude that God wants from us. So now, did not waste time. Fire of the Lord fell and consumed what? First, it burned the sacrifice. I want to get them. First, it burned the sacrifice. Second, if you read, they said that it burned what? It burned the sacrifice, comma, and the wood, comma, and the stones, comma, and the dust, and it licked up the water that was in the trench. All right? So it, it destroyed all of them. All of these items, all right? So these are the things that, that you will find in an altar. So first here, he said that destroy the sacrifice. When God deals with things, he operates according to a particular reason and a sequence because he's up to achieving a particular goal. If you want to achieve a particular goal, you need to be strategic and, and operate on a particular on a particular procedure. If you are, um, if you want to make a cup of coffee, all right, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, um, you don't start with uh, drinking uh, the powdered coffee, all right, without putting water in, all right. So you 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 start by putting boiling water and then the the coffee the, the powder of the coffee and if you are using sugar you put sugar and all and you stay is that's a procedure of making a cup of coffee all right so the same applies in the things of the spirit remember that what we do here on earth is something that started in in the spirit all right it, the physical is determined by the spirit, all right? So now, now, um, so God is forever procedural when he does things. So he started by destroying here, the destroying the sacrifice. There's a reason for that. And he destroyed the, the wood, the stones, the dust, and the water. So now, every altar has got a sacrifice. An altar that does not have a sacrifice is a powerless altar because that altar has to have a sacrifice. When, when, when they want to do something all right, against you, they will take a sacrifice, speak over it, and release it to the idol that is in the altar so that that idol is able to release the powers to do what what they have asked for using the sacrifice. So when, when God was destroying the sacrifice, was causing a disjuncture between the sacrifice and the idol, knowing that the idol will, be, will not be able to function without the sacrifice. All right. The same applies with us. When we want God to do things for us and we get to this altar, all right, we place a sacrifice, which is a seed on his altar. 
all right? And we ask God, bless me with this. That's what we do. So this is how it is the spiritual arithmetic that Satan is doing it for himself because he understands that if it does not follow it, it does not work for him, all right? So he twists it. It's a counterfeit, but working for him, all right? So he destroyed the sacrifice to make the altar powerless. And then the next thing that he did, then he went straight to the wood. What is the wood? The wood is about power, it's about strength. Just think of the spirit of the lion. Think of the spirit of the leopard, all right? So think of any four-legged spirit that dwells in the forest. It's about power, it's about strength, it's about authority, it's about pride, it's about all kinds of, all right, the glory and self-glory and, and, and. So he destroyed that. He destroyed that protection, all right, because it's about protection. Anything that is about the strength is about protection. Destroyed it and, and went where? And went to the stones. The stones are about the pillars, the, the pillars, pillars, pillars of the altar. They use the stones, all right, when they do this, this, this. With us, we say that Jesus is my rock, all right? So they put the stones, all right, on their altars as to represent what we call the rock. So they do that. So then this fire also destroyed that. But it first they say that I'm going to separate you from the idol. Boom, the sacrifice to make the altar powerless. Secondly, go straight, boom, to the wood. Say that no protection, making you naked. is making the altar now naked, all right? So when it is naked, everything that you say now will, will land, all right? will land on whatever that is there in the altar because the altar now is exposed, all right? And I destroyed the pillars to make the altar to collapse, all right? And then the next thing that he did, he went straight to the soil. The soil is about whatever that I, I have to eat must come from the soil. Jezebel is about stealing everything that our sweat. That's what Jezebel is about, stealing our sweat. So now that sweat comes from where? I mean, whatever that you are planting, you, you get, and the earth was commanded, as I said in the beginning, the ground was commanded so that we must have something to eat. So now this one, is the soil that has been that 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 is releasing curses of poverty, the opposite of what God commanded the earth to do. So now, when straight to it, demolish it, and then was left with water, and that water was the water that he said that pour more, more jars, more jars, eh? Hey, hey. And I think that there were 12 jars. Hey, Paul, 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 Paul. We're going to see who's stronger than, 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 than the water. Who's stronger than the water. And the Lord says in Psalm 29, he says that my voice, my voice thunders over the mighty waters. Thunders over, over the mighty waters. So what was left now was what? They were believing in the waters. So licked up the waters, destroy them. Do you see this strategy? Is a strategy that I'm asking that we use right now. All right, to destroy this altar. And it, everything was absolutely destroyed. All right, absolutely destroyed. Everything absolutely destroyed. All right. So I would like us to use that approach to destroy this altar. The altar of Jezebel that is in your life. The altar that is bringing you sexual immorality, stealing your money, 
making you to believe in false prophecies that are going to make you to move away from the truth, a false teaching that is moving you from the truth, all right, uh, is, is also is bringing you the spirits of the waters, all right, and everything that is about drying you up, all right. So is an altar of Jezebel is an altar of Jezebel that is founded on Jezebel. So now, let us pray and destroy these altars. Are we ready for that? Mm? Are we ready to pray? Are we ready? All right, so let's start then to pray, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna as I'm praying, uh, please, I'm asking you that you follow and you do the prayer, all right? I'm looking at the time. I did not see that it has actually gone too far. So, but I'm asking you that you do. Maybe what we will do, I'm not sure whether we're going to cut this into two when we are going to be publishing it because now I'm looking at the time. Now, but I'm hoping that you got what I was saying because you need this explanation so that you are able to, to pray, all right, and understand it. So now... We're going to start making this prayer. But I'm going to ask you that for the whole week, do this prayer, all right? Do this prayer. You got the principles and the sequence and how you should be doing it. So follow that and do this prayer, all right? So let's start then the prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we just want to thank you. We thank you, Father God, that you are God who is above, the God who reigns in heaven and on earth. And I thank you, Lord God, that you are God who is sitting on your on your, on your throne, and we have made the earth your footstool. Nothing impossible with you, nothing, in, nothing too hard for you. And right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we are coming to you in Jesus' name and making, Lord God, and asking that what you did for Prophet Elijah, you can do it for us. What you did for Prophet Elijah, you can do it for us because you are God Almighty, the God who is not the respecter of persons. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we pray. And in Jesus' name, Father God, as we are, we are standing on Mount Carmel as it was with Prophet Elijah. We are saying in the mighty name of Jesus, let every evil altar that steals from us, every evil altar that brings us false prophecies, every evil altar that brings us false teachings, every evil altar that, that brings us the spirits of the waters in the mighty name of Jesus, we are rising above it in Jesus' name. We are rising above it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, let it be known today that you are the living God. Let it be known today that you are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, in the mighty name of Jesus, let it be known today that your voice thunders over the mighty waters. Let it be known today that your voice, Lord God, makes the forest to go bare. Let it be known today that your voice breaks the cedars of Lebanon. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, let it be known today that you are God God who is above every other God in Jesus' name. Father God, we are coming to you, Lord God. We are asking you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord God, it cannot be done without you. We pray, Spirit of the living God, that you anoint us, anoint us, anoint us, anoint us for this prayer. We pray, Spirit of the living God, that you anoint us for this prayer. I want you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to anoint you. Anoint me, Holy Spirit, for this prayer. Anoint us for this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Release the anointing that we need for this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus.
Jesus. We pray to the Lord of hosts that you assign the angels that we need for this prayer. The angels that we need for this prayer. I want you to ask the Lord of hosts to assign the angels that you need for this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, the angels of war in Jesus' name, the angels concerning me in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you release the angels that I need for this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you cover me with your blood in Jesus' name. Cover me with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. I put on the whole armor of God in Jesus' name, the helmet of salvation. I say in the name of Jesus, my salvation is a weapon against you, Satan. In Jesus' name, I'm putting on the breastplate of righteousness. I say that the righteousness of the Lord is the one against the kingdom of Satan. In Jesus' name, I put on the belt of truth. I'm rising up with truth in the name of Jesus. I'm rising up with the power of truth in Jesus' name. Is the weapon of protection for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm holding the shield of faith to block the fiery darts. I'm saying in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm rising up with the shield of faith in Jesus' name. I say that I believe in my God in the mighty name of Jesus. I say in Jesus' name, Lord God, out of my mouth comes the sword of the Holy Spirit. Out of my mouth comes the sword of the Holy Spirit. Let it pierce through the hearts of the demons in Jesus' name. Pierces through the hearts of the demons in the mighty name of Jesus. I say every word that I speak is the sword of the Holy Spirit. Every word that I speak is the sword of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, my eyes, the spirit of the living God, I pray that you release the fire. Release fire out of my eyes. Release fire out of my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus, makashaka maseke shiki yakama. Roko makaka shiki yakama sereke shiyakama. Roko rababa siki yakama soroko shiyakama. Rimamama siki yakama sereke shiyakama. Roko I want you to pray. Roko rababa seke teke shiki yakama. Roko koko rababa siki yakama sorokoshi yakama. Rekekeke shiki yakama sarakashi yakama. I want you to take the fork the control of the four corners of where you are. In Jesus' name, take control in the name of Jesus. Loose the blood, loose the powerful blood of the name, the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. Take control, take spiritual control of the place where you are. Take spiritual control of the four corners of where you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, loose the blood, loose the blood, loose the blood to the north, loose the blood to the south, loose the blood to the east and the worst in Jesus name and take spiritual control in the mighty name of Jesus lama kashiki yakama sorokoshi yakama rakama seke teke shiki yakama sorokoshi yakama cleanse the gate and loose the blood loose the blood loose the blood on the fences in Jesus name loose the blood on the rooftop in the mighty name of Jesus loose the blood in the foundation in Jesus name and overcome every evil power that dwells there. Say that I overcome your powers with the blood of Jesus Christ. I overcome your powers with the blood of Jesus Christ. I overcome your spiritual authority with the blood of Jesus Christ. I nullify your spiritual authority with the blood of Jesus Christ. I nullify your spiritual authority with the blood of Jesus Christ. I speak right now in Jesus' name. Any demon that is, that is buried under my ground under my land in Jesus' name. I say in the mighty name of Jesus, I overcome your powers in Jesus' name. I overcome your spiritual authority in the mighty name of Jesus. I overcome your assignment in Jesus' name. I want you to pray. I want you to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to continue pray in Jesus' name. I want you to continue pray in Jesus' name. <coughs> 
Rokoma seketiki, excuse me, Rokoma kakashiki yakama, sarakashi yakama, Rokoma siki yakama, sarakashi yakama. Loose the blood on the rooftop, on the rooftop in Jesus' name. Loose the blood, the blood, the powerful blood of the name. Reke masaka takashiki yakama, sorokoshi yakama, rabababa seketeke, shiki yakama seketeke. Take control, take control, take control. Marababa siki yakama, sorokoshi yakama. Purify the foundation of your land purify it purify the foundation with the blood purify it in jesus name loose the blood in the mighty name of jesus Lose the blood in the air, in the air, in Jesus' name. The air of your house, lose the blood, lose the blood, lose the blood, lose the blood, lose the blood in Jesus' name. Lose the fire and the blood, fire and the blood, fire and the blood, fire and the blood in Jesus' name. Makasheke masarakashi yakama soko togo. Rimamama seke teke shiki yakama soro koshi yakama. Rabababa seke teke shiki yakama. Call up from the Lord to loose, loose the snares. Let the Lord loose the snares, loose the snares, loose the snares in Jesus' name to capture all the powers that are rising against this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Say that, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, loose, let it rain the snares, let it rain the snares in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Let it rain the snares in Jesus' name. And if you want to get there, it is in the book of Psalm 11. Say that, Lord, let it rain the snares in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord God, let the snares rain in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it rain the snares in Jesus' name. Rain in the burning coals in other verses and in other in, in other um. Uh, versions it will say that it is the the fiery coals let them rain in the mighty name of jesus i pray lord god in jesus name let it rain in snares let it rain in snares in jesus name and capture all the powers that are rising against this prayer let them all be captured in the mighty name of jesus be captured in jesus name father god almighty we bless you lord god in Jesus' name, and now in the mighty name of Jesus, I lose the I lose light in Jesus' name with the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I lose light in the mighty name of Jesus to any altar, any altar in Jesus' name that is operating against me, that is operating in the mighty name of Jesus. Any altar that is uh, stolen my spirit in Jesus' name, that has entrapped my spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Any altar that has entrapped my spirit in the mighty in the name of Jesus, I say right now in Jesus' name, I lose, I lose, I lose light in Jesus' name. I say be exposed, be exposed by the power of light. Be exposed, be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be exposed in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you appeared to prophet Elijah. I pray you appear to me right now. I pray, I pray that you appear to me in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name. As you say in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 51 verse 20, that I am your battle axe, Lord God. I am your battle axe. I am the weapon of war in Jesus' name. I am your weapon of war in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I want you to say that to the Lord and say that in Jesus' name, I covenant with this word in Jesus' name. I covenant with this word in the mighty name of Jesus that I am indeed the battle works of my God. I am the battle acts of my God in the mighty name of Jesus. I am the weapon of war in Jesus' name. 
Lord God Almighty, I covenant with you in the name of Jesus. I'm rising up right now as the battle axe of my God. I'm rising up as the battle axe of my God. I'm rising up as the weapon of war of my God in Jesus' name. I'm rising up as the battle axe in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood, let the blood, let the blood, let the blood, let it make a way for me in Jesus' name. I'm calling upon the blood of the way. I'm calling upon the blood of truth. I'm calling upon the blood of life in Jesus' name. Let it make a way for me in the mighty name of Jesus. All the barriers must move in Jesus' name. Must move in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm coming with the power of the blood. I'm coming with the power of the blood. I want you to make the prayer. Make the prayer and say so in Jesus' name. That you are the battle ex. You are the battle axe. You are the weapon of war. The weapon of war in Jesus' name. And you are coming with the power of the blood. You are coming with the power of the blood. Let all the barriers collapse in Jesus' name. Command them to collapse under the power of the blood. Command all the barriers to collapse under the power of the blood. Say that collapse, collapse in the mighty name of Jesus. Collapse, collapse in Jesus' name. Makasheke masarakashe. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember this, that you cannot fight anything that you are still having a covenant with. I want you right now, break the covenant with the Spirit. It's got desert, just Jezebel. Say that in the name of Jesus, I break the covenant with the Spirit. It's got Jezebel. I break the covenant with you, Jezebel, in Jesus' name. I say, I break the covenant with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Break, 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 break the covenant. Break the covenant, break the covenant, break the covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the covenant in Jesus' name. I break the covenant with the spirits of false prophecies. I break the covenant with the spirits of false prophecies in the mighty name of Jesus. Break, 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 break the covenant. Break the covenant. Break the covenant with the spirit of false prophets in Jesus' name. Break the covenant with the spirit of false prophets in the name of Jesus. Break the covenant with the spirit of false prophets prophecies in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to break the covenant. Say that in the name of Jesus. I break the covenant with you. I break the covenant in the name of Jesus. Break the covenant with the spirits of false teachers in the name of Jesus. Break the covenant with the spirits of false teachers in Jesus' name. Break, 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 break the covenant. Break the covenant. Renounce it in the name of Jesus. Say that I renounce the covenant with the spirit of false prophets. I renounce the covenant with the spirit of false teachers. I say in the name of Jesus, I renounce the covenant with you in Jesus' name. Renounce the covenant with the spirit of sexual immorality. Renounce the covenant in Jesus' name. Say that I renounce, I renounce the covenant with the spirit of sexual immorality in the mighty name of Jesus. I renounce the covenant in Jesus' name. I renounce the covenant with the spirit of pornography. I renounce the covenant Covenant with the spirit, with the spirit, it's a fornication in Jesus' name. I renounce the covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Renounce according to what you know and according to what is also in your bloodline. Renounce in the mighty name of Jesus. Renounce in Jesus' name. Renounce the covenant with the spirit of divorces. Renounce the covenant with the spirit of with, 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 with the spirit spouse in the name of Jesus. Say that in the name of Jesus, I renounce the covenant with the spirit spouse. I renounce renounce the covenant in Jesus name. I renounce this, this marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I renounce the covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. I renounce the covenant with the spirit spouse. I renounce the covenant with any spirit spouse in Jesus name. Renounce it in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you right now, remove the garment, remove the garment, remove the garment of the spirit spouse in Jesus name and say that I don't want you in my life. Renou renounce the covenant 
covenant in the name of Jesus and remove the remove the garment in Jesus' name. Remove the garment, the garment of the spirit spouse. Remove it in the name of Jesus and cast it into fire in Jesus' name. Command, command it to burn, 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 burn in Jesus' name. Remove, remove the ring, remove, 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 remove the ring of the spirit spouse in Jesus' name. Say that in the name of Jesus, I renounce the covenant with your with your mistress in Jesus' name. I renounce the covenant with your mistress that is Jezebel right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I remove your ring and I throw it into fire. I remove your ring and I throw it into fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire burn, burn, burn the dowry. Let the fire burn, 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 burn the dowry in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire come down in the mighty name of Jesus and burn, burn, burn the dowry in Jesus' name. Makasheke masarakashia kamasakataka. Rimakaria kamaserekeshia kamasarakaria kama. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove, remove all this garment. The garment, the garment of lies, the garment of lies, remove it. The garment of deception, remove it from you and throw them into fire and command them to burn in Jesus' name. And now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that you respond by fire, that you respond by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, respond by fire, Lord God, in Jesus' name, as you did for prophet Elijah. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, let the fire burn the sacrifice. Loose fire in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God burn the sacrifice. Command in the mighty name of Jesus, fire must burn, must burn the sacrifice. Must burn the sacrifice in Jesus' name. Must burn also the ancient sacrifice that have been released against to in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire, fire must burn, must burn, must burn, must burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose fire, loose fire, loose fire to burn. Let the fire burn, burn, burn the sacrifice. It must burn the sacrifice into ashes in Jesus' name. Burn the sacrifice into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire right now burn the wood in Jesus' name. Say in the mighty name of Jesus, any spirit of the forest that is coming against me, I say in the name of Jesus, it must burn, it must burn. Every spirit of forest that reigns in this altar, that reigns in this altar, must burn, must burn in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to burn, burn, burn the wood in Jesus' name. Must burn, must burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Must burn in Jesus' name. Let, let the fire burn in the name of Jesus. It must burn also the garments, the garments, the garments of the leopard. Must burn, must burn, must burn in the name of Jesus, must burn in Jesus' name. Command them to burn, command them to burn in the name of Jesus. Let them burn, 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 burn into ashes in Jesus' name. Let them burn in the mighty name of Jesus. The clots that got it, the lepers that got the lions, let them catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Those clots that are on this altar, let them catch fire and burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Command them to burn, Command them to burn in Jesus' name. Command them to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. They must burn those garments in Jesus' name. They must burn those clothes in the mighty name of Jesus. Command them to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire right now, the fire must burn the stones in the name of Jesus. Go after the stones and let the fire burn the stone. Say that your pillars must collapse in Jesus' name. Your pillars must collapse in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm I'm losing fire in the name of Jesus. I say the fire that comes from the throne of God, let it burn, burn, burn the stones, burn the stones in the name of Jesus. Burn the stones in Jesus' name. Let the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn the stones in the mighty name of Jesus. Now command the, the earth, the, the fire. Let the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Now it must burn, it must burn the soil. It must burn the soil. Let the curse that is released to this soil, it must burn in the name of Jesus. 
Burn, burn, burn the curse in Jesus' name. It must burn in the mighty name of Jesus. It must burn in Jesus' name. Say that in the mighty name of Jesus, any curse that has been released to this to this soil in the name of Jesus I erase you with the blood of Jesus Christ I erase you with the blood of Jesus Christ I say right now in Jesus name I erase your powers in the mighty name of Jesus let the fire burn your powers in Jesus name let the fire burn your assignment in the mighty name of Jesus let the fire burn your assignment in the mighty name of Jesus I say everything that is wicked that is buried under this earth, it must burn, 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 loose fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire that flows from the throne of God, let it burn, burn, burn in the name of Jesus. Burn every spirit that is depriving you food, every spirit that is depriving you wealth, every spirit that is depriving you inheritance, in the mighty name of Jesus, must burn, burn, burn in Jesus' name. Must burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit, every every spirit in the name of Jesus that has stolen your spirit, that has stolen your spirit, man, must burn, must burn in Jesus' name. That altar must collapse, must collapse, must collapse, must collapse in the name of Jesus, must collapse in Jesus' name. Let right now fire in the name of Jesus must burn the water must burn the water in Jesus name and lick it up in the mighty name of Jesus let the fire right now target water target water and burn 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 this water in Jesus name say that burn 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 into dryness I command that you are dry 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 in the name of Jesus I say the altar that stole my spirit the altar that stole my finances in the mighty name of Jesus. You are catching fire right now. You are consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is in you is burning, is burning in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I want you right now to get straight to the idol. Every altar has got an idol and has got not, pro, not one, not two, two even more than two or three idols now in the name of jesus the idol that is assigned against your spirit the idol that is assigned against your finances in the mighty name of jesus now carrying the sword that is burning the sword that is that 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 carries fire in the mighty name of jesus the sword that is blazing with fire the sword that is blazing with fire i want you right now and say that i cut off your head in jesus name I, I cut off the head of the idol in the name of jesus the idol assigned to steal my spirit man the idol assigned to steal my finances to steal my wealth to steal whatever that has been stolen from you in the mighty name of jesus to steal my kingdom purpose in jesus name i say in the name of jesus right now i cut off your head in jesus name. I cut off your head in the mighty name of Jesus. I plunge the sword into your heart in Jesus' name. I plunge the sword into your heart in the name of Jesus. I say that this is the blazing sword. Is the blazing sword. I say burn, burn, burn in the name of Jesus. Burn in Jesus' name. I say die by the sword. Die by the sword. Die by the sword. Die by the sword in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die by fire in Jesus' name. I say die by fire. Die by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I command my spirit to come back in Jesus' name. I say that you are my spirit in the name of Jesus. You are set free. I say, come back in the name of Jesus. Come back in Jesus' name. I proclaim that this altar is desolate. I proclaim that this altar is desolate in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that whoever will rebuild this altar against me, you will do it at the cost of your firstborn this is what the lord said this is what the lord said here in the book of joshua 
when after this is what the Lord said here if we can just quickly go to the book of, of Joshua the Bible here says here okay, I went straight the Bible here says that after no 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 this is not the scripture this is not the verse uh, after after the wall of Jericho had collapsed all right and um and they have taken all of that. So then Joshua said that after it has collapsed, he said that he said that in verse 26, that is uh, at Joshua chapter 6, you, you need to do this. You need to put the seal because Joshua here was putting a seal saying that it's not going to happen again. Because the enemy will come back and do the same thing. So he said that putting making this decree, he said that in verse 26, uh, chapter Joshua chapter 6, verse 26, then Joshua laid this oath on them. Cursed is the man before the Lord who rises up and rebuilds the city, Jericho. With the loss of his firstborn, shall he lay the foundation, and with the loss of his youngest shall he set up the gates. So what you will say here is that in the mighty name of Jesus, whoever will rebuild this, let this, this word, this word will be, will be, will be invoked against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you and we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Now I want you to pray and ask the Lord to, uh, to restore Restore everything. Let your spirit right now. I want you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your spirit in the name of Jesus be sanctified, be sanctified. In Jesus' name, all the defilement be removed in the name of Jesus. And I want you in Jesus' name to say that in the name of Jesus, let right now fire in the name of Jesus. Let the fire bend, bend, bend the remote control that was used to get to your spirit. The remote control that was used in the mighty name of Jesus and the microchip that is inside you, must catch fire and burn. The microchip that is inside you must catch fire and burn in Jesus' name. The remote controls that they were using to call you in Jesus' name to take your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Let those remote controls burn into ashes in Jesus' name. Burn into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to right now and say that in Jesus' name, all your gates, I root them out in Jesus' name. All your evil gates are root them out. All your evil doors to my spirit are root them out in Jesus' name. Your portals, I seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ. I seal your portals with the blood of the Lamb. And Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name that you protect my spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And now I dedicate my spirit to you. I say that my spirit is called by your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my spirit to be protected and be connected to the spirit of the living God in Jesus' name. And I say in the name of Jesus, Lord God, all the monies and the inheritance that they stole from me, let it be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that Satan must pay back in sevenfold in Jesus' name. And I pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that anything that Satan stole from me, he must pay it back in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Let the angels be dispersed in Jesus' name. Be dispersed in the name of Jesus to the strong house of Jezebel and bring back everything that he stole from me. Everything that she stole from me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we bless you and we thank you, Lord God. And we seal it with the powerful blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, we pray pray amen and amen you see i would like you for the next please i want you to if if you if you believe in this prayer say amen i want you to type amen 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 and say that my things are back because now i did i did uh i we're destroying the altar 
of the one combining two things of the one who says that stole my wealth and my inheritance of the other one who says that is a, is the altar that stole my spirit man all right we're doing them both so we thank the lord uh, be blessed to be blessed i believe that you have received something you have received something from the lord this is the prayer that I'm asking you that you do it throughout this week. Do it throughout this week. It's such a powerful prayer and understanding how to destroy the altar. All right? How to destroy an evil altar using the word of God. Amen. We thank the Lord to be blessed. Now, this is Apostle Praise. I am signing off. And before I sign off, Please, if you have not subscribed, I'm asking you that you subscribe and also to share this word, share this word, share this word to everyone so that it's not only you who is blessed, but others too need this word. And also, if you are not born again, I'm asking you that you receive Jesus Christ. And I would like you that to follow after me and say that, Lord Jesus, forgive me, Lord God. For every sin that I have done, and right now, with humility, I kneel before your throne, and I ask you that you forgive me as a God of grace and a God of mercy. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that with all my heart, I believe that you are God who is living and in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I am asking you that you be my God. And I ask that you permit me to step into the kingdom of light in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you take this body and use it as your temple in Jesus' name. And Lord God, I pray that my name may be registered in the book of life. And I, I announce in the realm of the spirit that I'm born again. I belong to Jesus Christ. I am born again in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we bless you and we thank you. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord.